All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Matthew 28, 18 through 20. Genesis 1, 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1, 1. Psalm 119, 18. Open my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. Psalm 119, 18. John 13, 34 and 35. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. John thirteen thirty four and 35. First Timothy 4, 7 and 8. Have nothing to do with irreverent, silly myths. Rather, train yourself for godliness. For while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. 1 Timothy 4, 7 and 8. Philippians 4, 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6 and 7. John fourteen fifteen, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. John fourteen fifteen. <clears throat> Psalm 119, 10 and 11. With my whole heart I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm 119, 10 and 11. Galatians five twenty two through 26. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. Galatians five twenty two through 26 Acts 1, 8 But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Acts 1, 8. John 1, 1 through 3. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. John 1, 1 through 3. Psalm 91, 1 through 16. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the eye, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. 
With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 91, 1 through 16. Ephesians 6, 11 through 13. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no man may boast. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. Exodus 20, 3 through 17. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet. Exodus 20, 3 through 17. Colossians 1, 10. Walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, bearing fruit in every good Matthew work 5, and increasing in the knowledge the of God. Colossians Blessed 1, 10. are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see, shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Matthew 5, 3 through 11. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. 1 Corinthians ten thirteen. Romans 12, 1 and 2. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Romans 12, 1 and 2. Psalm 34, 4. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Psalm 34, 4. Roman Road to Salvation. Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 5.8, but God showed his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 10.9 and 10, but if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. Romans ten thirteen. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Deuteronomy 6, 5 through 7. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. And these words that I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and you shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. Deuteronomy 6, 5 through 7. Revelation 22, 12 and 13. Behold, I am coming soon, bringing my recompense with me to repay each one for what he has done. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Revelation 22, 12 and 13. Revelation 22, 
20 and 21. He who testifies to these things says, Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with all. Amen. Revelation 22, 20 and 21. Psalm 100, verses 4 and 5. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Psalm 100, 4 and 5. Matthew 6, 33 and 34. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Matthew 6, 33 and 34. Romans 8, 28. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. Psalm 4, 8. In peace, I will both lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Psalm 4, 8. Psalm 23, 1 through 6. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. 23rd Psalm. Isaiah 9, 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9, 6. Colossians 3, 15. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body. And be thankful. Colossians 3, 15. Colossians 3, 16 and 17. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Colossians three sixteen and 17. John 1, 14. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen His glory, Glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. John 1, 14. Joshua 1, 8 and 9. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your ways prosperous, and then you will have good success. Joshua 1, 8 and 9.